Hi everyone, it's Sarah. I am here with a process video for you using the Lily Pads BYOC collection or Build Your Own Collab, Build Your Own Collection. Um, I've seen it referred to both ways. I'm going to be using a few items from the July 2016 BYOC and I will link to the individual products down below in the comments or in the um, description. So what I started with is a 12 by 12 sheet. This is Stampin' Up! Whisper White cardstock. And then I just sprayed Mr. Huey's Passport and splattered it a bit. Uh, this is the, the bottle. And then I've started with a template. This is from the collection. This is by Scrapping with Liz. It's called my Travel Journal Templates. There are four different 12 by 12 templates in it. And I've printed out so I can show you and also so I can kind of see how it's supposed to go together. I am just using the right side of the template. And I will center it. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, I put all of the different... They, they come in different formats. There's PSD. There's... Um, PNG, there's I believe TIFF. So I have just imported the PNGs into my Silhouette Studio software and then traced around it and filled it with papers from the collection. Uh, the first, I'll show you that real quick. So if you look here, there's three different pages. I'm not sure exactly where it's going to fit on it, but it'll be somewhere in the middle. And then these kind of fit together. So that'll create a little bit of a border. And then that'll go. And you can kind of see from the, from the template how that works out. So I'm going to glue this together real quick. I use just the, the Tombow. Um, sorry, that's upside down. The Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive. I really like it. It seems to stick pretty well. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by adhering these three pieces together. I'm going to leave a little bit of a space because it's got, you can see where there's stuff that kind of tuck in under this page right here. Let me do the, the bottom two. These are printed out on Nina Bright White cardstock, um, which I get off of Amazon. I know you can get it at office stores as well. Um, so I'm just going to kind of messily line up just kind of like the the thing you can kind of see where it pokes through the holes a little bit it's a little off kilter like it is on the um the main the template and then i'll go ahead and glue this down as well And I'm not going to stick it down, like I said, real hard because I've got some stuff. Um, let me, oops. Let me move that off out of the way. I'm going to just, I know a lot of this is happening off camera, but hopefully it'll be okay. I'm going to just stick that up at the top there. Uh, this is also a P paper from the collection. This is, um, I should mention this, Forever Joy Designs Summertime Blues. Uh, the papers are all from that. And then for the elements, which you saw the Stargazer, which I'm going to actually use to layer on that tab. Um, that is all from Valerie Wibben's Sprinkles Volume 44. Um, her Sprinkles collections are amazing. They're so much fun. There's lots of different little elements. Um, that you can print as well as, as a lot of stuff that's great for digital scrapbooking as well. And I'm just going to tuck this just kind of in there. Again, it doesn't have to be super straight because I kind of like the off-kilter look here a little bit. Um, and then this, I used the piece from the template and then there was a paint in Valerie's product that I um, just kind of filled in that. So that's going to go kind of right there. And it can hang off the edge a little bit. It does in the template as well. But obviously it really doesn't matter because it's going on a 12 by 12 background. So just 
a little bit off there. And even if there's some adhesive that managed its way over, it's going to get stuck down there anyway. And then I did print off this as well. It kind of, if you look, there's a compass rose because this is a travel journal. There's a compass rose. So I printed this North, North Star that I think I'm going to layer over it. I'm going to look and see. Yeah, why not? I'm just going to put a little bit right in the center. That way, if I change my mind, it's not going to be super stuck down. Move that out just a little bit. And then a ticket. Uh, again, I just used the piece from the, from the template and I filled it in. I kind of thought that looked a little. Let me see if I can. There we go. A little starry night. Sorry, still trying to get a handle on this setup. So it's just little yellow and blue splatters on a dark blue background. Um, the picture I'm scrapping is from the St. Louis Science Center. We went to what they call First Friday. Uh, this was back in September of last year of 2015. And we went to the planetarium and they had the, the local astronomy group was out with telescopes. So I thought the ticket was kind of fun there because we, we um, had to have a ticket to get, get into the planetarium. It was free, but you still had to be ticketed to go in. And then here's a picture, the picture I'm going to use. Um, it has a white mat in the, in the original template. I've just uh, made, made a white border on my photo. So it's going to go right there. Again, a little off kilter. And then that's pretty much. If you look, kind of the elements from the template. Um, I am not going to do a separate title. I'm just going to let Stargazer be my title. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down to the paper. Ah, it's not wanting to flow. There we go. And then I've got to decide. I think I'm going to make it just a little bit to the left. Because the paint's a little bit heavier on the right side. And again, I'm not worried about it being super straight or super centered. Um... So there's the basic of it. And then I also printed off um, some, some little elements that I thought would be kind of cute to add, like this little telescope, the star, maybe just up in the up in the heavens there. Um, this little thing that says night sky. little tag which I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to use that um, I thought originally I would do the date on it but I didn't grab my white ink so I may just just leave that um, leave that off and there I go I knew I was going to bump the tripod I've got it right where my leg and it is um, <laughs> where they're, they're bound to connect um, and then this little look, look up and get lost word art. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then that's going to leave me a pretty good block for journaling. So let me go ahead and start gluing these pieces out. I'm pretty happy with the placement. One of the really cool things about this um, this night with Saturn was was really well placed in the sky. So we were able, almost everybody out in the astronomy group that were out in the field had their telescopes pointed at Saturn. So, so we got to see Saturn through, I don't know, probably four or five different telescopes, which was pretty cool. Um, and then obviously, we, we like I said, we did the planetarium show and... 
It just kind of shows what's in the night sky in our area. We're a little south of, of St. Louis, but it's still pretty much the same sky. Uh, let me see. It would show up better there, but it seems weird. I know it's all... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it up there. It does get a little lost. Let's see. Oh, I may have stuck that down a little too hard. Could do something like that. Yeah, that shows up a little bit better. And then... I'll probably... Let that stick off a little bit. Got a little adhesive sticking off the end. And then the telescope. I love this little telescope. And it seems really appropriate for what we did that night. Which was, like I said, I really should be using my glue pen. But I just grabbed what I needed for throwing this together quickly. Um, that works. And then the last thing I'm going to do is... Just stamp the date. I've already said this is just an Office Depot date stamp. And then I used the Ranger Archival ink. Just jet black. And I'm just going to get down in here and September 4th, 2015. And the only thing I have left to do now on this layout is to do some journaling, which I will do off camera and I will link that. Um, when I get it up into the gallery, I'll link it in the post or in the in the comments down below, in the description down below. I don't know why I keep wanting to say comments. In the description down below, I will link this page in the gallery so you can check out how I did the, the journaling as well. But that's pretty much it. It went together really fast. Um, even the, the printing the things out didn't take me very long. Uh, it's really easy with the template because you just bring the pieces in and you don't really have to think about it. Uh, the, the silhouette does a, an amazing job of doing things like this um, this telescope, which would take, you know, a long time with a craft knife to do. And it looks like it is starting to blow up a storm out there, so I'm going to turn this off and try to get this uploaded. Hopefully we don't lose power. <laughs> and I will see you another time. Thanks for watching. Bye.